Okay, Assalamu alaikum and good morning and welcome you all guys in the lecture of the series of the epidemiology subject. In the today lecture, um, in the previous lecture, we learned about the epidemiology and the distribution of the diseases and the pattern of the disease, how the disease is distributed, in which pattern and in which number are the frequencies. Now, in the today lecture, we will go to learn about the determinants of the disease. And what is the determinants? The determinants or the risk factors, these are the those independent variables, the determinants or the risk factors. These are the independent variables which are associated with the increased risk of the disease or infection means if these risk factors are the determinants it's become increased in any specific population or in any specific geographical area or in a specific time period it is increased the risk of the disease or infection so these this determinant are the risk factor in the medicine, the consultant use the words of the cause, the cause of the disease. But in the public health or in the epidemiology, the most suitable terms they are using the risk factor or the determinants of the disease. So, just like the example in the in the clinical practice, you have seen then the vitamin C, if the vitamin C deficiency is become a deficiency in any particular specific population, so it is increase the risk of the scurvy. Scurvy. Okay. Now, in the clinical practice, we have seen in the clinical practice that the the deficiency due to the deficiency of the vitamin C in a specific population, it is increased the scurvy, or the decrease of any vitamin B12. Vitamin B12, it is cause the in an aspic fall population or in individuals population it is cause the pernicious anemia is increase the pernicious anemia okay so decrease the deficiency of the vitamin C and vitamin D12 in the specific fluctuation it is caused the increase the risk of the diseases just like the scurvy and pernicious anemia in the particular geographical area now the another risk factors in the in the health policy in the health policy Okay, some risk factor are existing in the some specific population or in the specific geographical area, but these risk factors are very determinants. They are very abstracts. They are found in. They are create the inequalities in the society, and they are very difficult to control for the health policy uh, makers just like the poverty okay now this the poverty is again is the risk factor it is the social determinant factors the poverty is the social determinant factor which is create the inequalities the create the disparities within the specific geographical area just like the 
inequality is quite much is higher in the rural areas or the peripheral areas of the uh, different provinces or the five provinces of the Pakistan as compared of the urban area. So due to it, this risk factor of the poverty which is very hard or difficult for the policy makers to control it. They can minimize it but cannot control it, but it cannot be eradicated. So due to the poverty then again it is increased the certain diseases just like the increase the malnutrition. Okay, malnutrition among the children. And then the it is increase decrease the literacy rate. And then these the poverty is due to the decrease the health access. Or it is the maybe challenges for the universal health coverage. It, the large proportion of your community of any geographical area which is the risk factor is the poverty just like in the Pakistan the the aesthetical estimate that the around the 60 percent of the people they are living under the poverty line so to measure the poverty line we have the two scale internationally we are measuring the poverty by the two scale one is those people which is are earning less than two dollar two dollar us dollar per day and the second one 1.2 us dollar per day so these are the the scale or a stick yard by which you can measure the poverty in any geographical area so in pakistan the people which is are earning less than two dollar per day they are the 60 percent around 60 percent the around 60 percent pupils which is are they are earning less than us two dollar per day now these you 60 percent quite much proportion which is the risk factors is which is causing the risk factor of the poverty now due to the, this social determinants this social determinants which is the reverse factor which will be the risk factor create the outcome of the increased number of the malnutrition among the children we have around 43 percent malnutrition or a standard child in our uh, in our geographical area in the Pakistan around 40 percent more than 40 42 or 43 percent we have the malnutrition in our children's and we have the less literacy rate because due to the poverty the pupil cannot send their children's to get the education and due to the poverty the less proportion very very minimum they are the people cannot access the health care and they can the health universal health coverage is the challenging in our society so that's why the from the previous government and this government they have the initiated to 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 meet the challenges of this risk factor social determinant factors of the poverty due to this poverty they the universal health coverage become a challenging for the population so meet these universal health coverage to address this health coverage which is caused by the which is uh, associated caused by the poverty they have initiated the both the government the previous government and this government they initiated the social health protection and this social health protection is called the health insurance health insurance okay this is sehat sahulat card set protection ssp which is called the 
صحت سہولت کارڈ ایس ایس پی صحت سہولت پروٹیکشن اور یو کین سے ہیلتھ انشورنس ایز بی انیشیٹیڈ فرام دی پریویس گورنمنٹ اینڈ دس گورنمنٹ دے آر گیونگ دی ہیلتھ انشورنس کارڈ ٹو کور ٹو ایڈریس دس ایشو یونیورسل ہیلتھ کوریج فار دی پور پیپل وچ از آر لیونگ انڈر دی پاورٹی لائن اوکے ناؤ دی دیر از اے کو ریلیشن بٹوین دی رسک فیکٹر اینڈ دی کازز بٹ اٹ ڈزنٹ مین دی کاز دی مے بی رسک فیکٹر اور رسک فیکٹر مے بی دی کاز دی کاز مے بی دی آؤٹ کم آف اینی ڈیزیز بٹ اٹ از پرو بائی دی ایسٹیکل میتھڈ ناؤ لیسٹ می let me give the an example the young populations light like the correlation the correlation of the risk factor and the causes the young population have the higher rates of the measles cases as compare of the adult one why the 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 measles cases is a higher rate because of the due to the compromise of their immune system their immune systems is not mature as of the young population of the in the children's of the children's as compare of the adult due to the immature of or the not properly develop their immune system of the children so they have the higher rates of the measles as compare of the adult so these these the, the, the young populations the due to the low immunity they have the on the high risk to cause the disease to cause the disease of the measles so this is a correlation correlation of the risk factor and the causes due to the low immunity to develop the effects of the cause so the risk factors risk factors will always proceed for the any outcome okay or effect okay outcome effect and then the dependent or any event now the risk factor is proceed to to come up is a proceed towards for the outcome for the effects for the dependent and for the any events now these outcome effects and event are the dependent on this risk factor the risk factor is always cause the may proceed to develop the outcome to uh, produce the effects to produce the event so these these are the events or these are the outcome or the effect and the event are dependent on the risk factors okay so to find the uh, we cannot say um, that the this particular risk factor or the causes is the outcome of that disease just only in the example of the biological cause in the biological cause a single cause or single factor can develop a particular disease like a, a covid-19 virus can cause the covid-19 disease myobacterium tuberculosis bacteria can cause the tuberculosis and the different diseases the single pathogenic disease single pathogenic cause can develop a particular disease only in this example the cause we can say this single cause can develop a single disease but in the risk factor and the causations is a very difficult but we can also with the aesthetical method with the aesthetical method we can say this is the risk 
to develop that particular disease. Suppose like a smoking is the which is the risk factor for the lungs cancer. Okay. Now the smoking which is cause the lungs cancer which is which is a risk factor for the lungs cancer we can prove the through the aesthetical method through the association and these association may be different aesthetical test aesthetical test or aesthetical methodology the one is called the relative risk okay with the relative risk which is called the rr or risk ratio which is called the risk ratio and the second one is through the odd ratio now the through the relative risk or the odd ratio we can create the association we can association we can develop the strong association with these aesthetical method that the smoking can cause or the risk factor for the developing the lungs cancer many epidemiological studies have been proved that the relative risk in the smoker is quite much is higher 100 times they are 200 times 100 times is higher to develop the lungs cancer as compared of the non smoker so it is proved the hypo the association and these when these prove this association then we can say causal causal determinants the causal determinants the causal determinants is the which is show the association between through the relative risk and the old ratio that this the the smokers are are the causes to develop the determinants are the cause or the relative are the risk risk factor which is develop the lungs cancer is that a rate range is higher as compared to the non-smoker so it is approved the association between the smoker and then the lungs cancer and the smoker is the determinants or the risk factor and the lungs cancer is the outcome or the effects or the any events of the disease condition which is has been developed by the smoking so in the today lecture of the epidemiology we will stop over here Tomorrow we will go to learn more about the determinants and the risk factor. I hope in the today lecture it is clear your concept about the distribution, what are the different ways of the distributions and according to the time, place, person or who, when, where and why and how. And the today lecture we learned about the determinants, what are the determinants and what are the uh, risk factor and what is the difference between the risk factor and the causes and how it is will proceed to develop the any outcome or any effects or any dependent variable or any events. So in the last I request you all to watch my video lecture properly. It will enhance your knowledge about the epidemiology subject and also uh, communicate your friends circle and the colleagues or the classmate for watching my video lectures and the last i request you all up till now you didn't subscribe my youtube channel and so please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell button up icon by pressing the bell icon yeah, or the bell button you will get my new lecture as soon as i upload of my youtube channel take take care i hope you will be all right thank you so much